Hey everybody, my name is Leanerath, and welcome to Fortress Craft Evolved. Fortress Craft Evolved is a voxel game kind of similar to Minecraft in a lot of respects, but there's also a lot to do with uh, building machines to automate processes, gathering resources, whatnot. So it's actually kind of a mix between Minecraft and Factorio, which is another game I should absolutely love. Absolutely. Absolutely is what I was going for, but anyway, we'll go ahead create a world here. Let's do Donger Mick Dongerton. We'll leave all of the uh, survival options as their defaults. We'll go ahead and create a world. So Fortress Craft Evolved, uh, I've been told the end game is sort of like a tower defense where you build turrets and whatnot, things will come in and attack you. I haven't gotten that far, I'm still stuck in the stage where you gather resources. Alright, so we have crash landed while trying to dock at our, I suppose in our mothership. But anyway, look at the CPH. Is this the CPH? No, this is the research station. I think this is the CPH. Hmm. Yeah, this is the central power hub, so we'll go ahead and take the power out, what we have so far. Does that want us to approach it from... Tutorial, what the hell do you want from me right now? I'm looking at the CPH and pressing E. Hmm. Well, we'll ignore that for now, maybe. Add power, take power. Yeah, no matter what, it's not going forward with the tutorial. But anyway, what it's going to tell you is that the central hub here where everything is attached to, this is where you get power for your suit and your machines, everything like that. Power is going to be generated here. Uh, this right here is an ore extractor. It's connected to a single block of coal ore to get you started. Your CPH burns coal to... Let's see, we'll go ahead and give this some power. While your power hub burns coal, God damn it. To create power, so we'll go ahead and add some resources here. Take some power, or at least as much as we can. And then there's a little energy storage container here that you can charge your suit with. We'll go ahead and throw some more power in here. Collect coal from the hopper. So basically it's asking us to do what we've already done. There we go. Put that ore in here. Ah, we can't because it's still burning. So now we have out our scanner, which is a little tablet looking thing. If we do a left mouse button click, it'll highlight everything that we haven't seen before unknown material, unknown ore, so on and so forth. If we hold down the right mouse button, it'll scan a single block. And now that we scanned it, we can go over to our research station right here. And it'll be on our list of scans. It's unknown material. We'll go ahead and process that. And now we know what snow looks like. Hurrah! From here, we'll go over to our crafting bench. This right here is going to act as our crafting bench. We can make more ore extractors, upgrades for our suits, machine parts, conveyor belts, that sort of thing. Right now, it wants us to make a power core. Go ahead and craft one. And now the tutorial is complete. Excellent. So that removes the force field, and now we can go out and about... Hey, bro. What's up? These guys are weird. I don't know if they're native to the planet or what, but they're not a threat to you, at least not that I've seen. But our first order of business is going to be finding ore that we can start mining. So we'll go ahead, press in, whip out our tablet here. 
ore is usually deeper. So let's go down here a bit. I'll do a quick scan. Alright, so that light blue stuff is going to be ore, so there's some right next to us. Alright, and then when you hit rubble, that means you've gotten to a substance that's too hard for your normal mining laser to, uh, to mine on its own. You have a couple of options at this point. The most convenient one is to set up an ore extractor, like right here. We'll go ahead and feed it some power. Normally I try to avoid using up all of my power because now we have to run back to our base real quick before we get hypothermia and die. And the problem with that is when you have hypothermia or when hypothermia is setting in, your screen turns all blue. It makes it really hard to see anything. So my advice to you would be to avoid letting hypothermia set in at all. Whoa, did I just... I must have accidentally right clicked because that destroyed our power storage cube. Let's see, seven is a power storage block, let's do this. That's unfortunate because I have a feeling that it didn't give us the power that it created. It's probably just wasted. But while we're back here at the base, what we do want to do is set up a conveyor belt here going from our coal storage hopper. Doop. Doop. Set up another store chopper here at the end. And now our coal will move directly from the extractor along this conveyor belt into the next store chopper and into our power hub. So now we don't have to worry about being here every time the coal runs out to fill it up. It'll automatically fill up from the store chopper and continue making power as it's available. Let's see, is this filled up? Hmm, is it even getting power? I don't know if it has to be rotated a certain way to get power or not. Hmm. Alright, well, I don't know if that's working correctly or not, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. In the meantime, we've got a little bit of power. Let's see if we can figure out where the hell we just set up that ore extractor. I think it was over this way, right? Yeah, right down here. I'll have to set up some lights or something so I can know where it's at. Let's go ahead and throw a torch, like, right on top. That'll make it a little bit easier to find. Put a little bit more power in there. I also want to set up a store chopper next to it to make sure that it doesn't run out of space. Storage empty. I think this actually has to be set up in a specific way so that... Shit. So that ore gets fed into it. Let's go ahead and move it over here. Storage empty. Storage still empty. Hmm. Storage hopper ain't doing much for me right now. Oh shit. It unloaded it at one point and then I moved it again. Let's see if this works. There we go. Now it's working just fine. So I have all of this ore in my inventory, except I don't know that it's ore yet. One cool thing, you might have seen me playing with it just a second ago when hypothermia was setting in, but one cool thing I like about this game opposed to, say, Minecraft, is that you get a grappling hook, which I'm still not entirely sure how it works. I don't know, do I have to not press anything? That's what it is. I was pressing jump to try to get it started, but that actually cancels out the grappling hook, so you kind of just gotta fire it and let it do its thing. But anyway, that's the super fun part about this game and it makes... That didn't work so well. 
anyway, when it works properly, or at least you know how to make it work properly, it's a really fun addition to the game. It helps you get around, especially when you... Fucking god damn it! That's the second time I did it! Anyway, we got some coal ore here. Let's, uh... If you hit E on these, I'm so used to that opening up the inventory, but on store choppers, it actually changes the, uh, the mode of how it accepts objects. Either you can set it to add and re- <sighs> I think I need a new mouse because I barely tapped the button when it did that just now. Alright. Oh well. Now can I... I need to put items in here. I'm not sure how to access the inventory of this thing. E doesn't do it. I? Hmm. Oh well, whatever. We'll just carry the ore on us for now. Go ahead, scan these. We've discovered dirt and tin ore. Perfect. So now that we have ore, we're going to go over to our smelter here. Put the ore in the smelter. And now you'll see that the temperature starts heating up. Another cool thing about this game is that you don't just throw your ore into a smelting oven or forge or whatever. You gotta wait for the smelter to actually get to a temperature where it can start melting down these bars, which is about 1100 Celsius. All the while, it's gonna take power, so if you don't have a decent amount of power reserved already, your uh, power hub is going to run really, really low on energy. So it's probably better off for you to get this conveyor belt system set up so it can start uh, generating backup energy. But anyway. Wait out a couple seconds here, and once it gets to about 1100... There we go. 1143 Celsius is when it starts actually smelting, so it'll go ahead and start smelting our tin bars. In the meantime... We're full up on power. Let's go unload some of this on our extractor down here. Okay. So we'll unload some energy. Looks like it's out. We'll go ahead and actually put down a power storage block. That way we can fill up this block and it'll continuously pump it into the uh, the extractor as it needs it. God damn that right click. I'm pretty sure that energy was just wasted. Use our grappling hook to, walk, to hop up here, grab some more energy from our core. Meh. That didn't work as intended at all. Go ahead, feed this thing some energy, and we should be good to go. We'll grab what ore that it has ready for us. Grapple up here again. Doop to doop. An easier way would be to just craft stairs out of there. But I enjoy using the grappling hook. It's fun and it's not a feature that many games include. There we go, full up on energy again. Go ahead, throw some more tin in there. We have six tin bars now. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot you can do with just tin. We're going to have to find copper and iron as well. So let's whip out our scanning pad here, see if we can find some copper in the area. Hopefully fairly close to our tin. Unknown material. Oh, shit. Oh, hey. I think we're sitting on top of copper right now. So we'll set up another extractor, eh, right here will work. And then we can set up a storage hopper right on the side. Hmm, that's not quite what I had in mind. Let's do the power storage on the side there and then we'll do a storage hopper right here. Feed this buddy some power. Go ahead, fill it all the way up, have that going. And we'll slap a lamp right on top of it, too. 
The lamps help me find my my extractors when it comes down to it. So we have one right down there and right, one right across the way. That's going to give us copper, tin. Now I just need to find iron, which in my experience has been a complete bitch to try to find. You have to go very, very deep to find copper. Or not copper, iron. God damn it! I did it again. Oh no, this needs power. Go ahead and fill this up. I think we have a lot of surplus power right now, so I'll go ahead and fill this up all the way. There we go. Let's see how our smelting is going. Still smelting some tin. Oh yeah, we haven't identified the copper yet, so let's go over to our research station. Process, oh, rock, what? Oh, we don't have any actual copper yet, it's still being extracted. So we'll go over yonder real quick. Doop to do. Have 16 unknown material. Perfect. So I think when the time comes, this makes me super nervous, but I think when the time comes, we're going to jump down there to uh, hunt for our iron. Alright, here we go. We'll go ahead and put. Ah, it won't let us until we identify what it is. We'll go ahead and process copper ore, just like we assumed. Put it in there, take out the tin. Alright, now we're working on copper. Perfect. So, we don't have a storage container up here. At least not one that we can dump whatever we want into. We have a couple of storage containers for, like, coal and whatnot, but that's not... That's not going to do a whole lot for us. Let's see. Shift E, toggle vacuum status off. Ah. There we go. My view distance is being wonky right now. So we'll leave that working. Let's see. Uh, this makes me nervous. I'm sure if I actually fall, this will kill me. Unknown material. And I don't think grappling hook de or hooking myself down there is going to negate fall damage. Here, let's do this. Maybe? Maybe? Oh, shit. Well, I'm glad that still worked. Had me nervous. Ow. No iron ore yet. I only need a flashlight. If you press J, you'll throw glow sticks. A la Terraria. Unknown ore. Awesome. I bet this is iron right here. I don't like its position, though. This is going to be really, really hard to uh, get around to. So I'll go ahead and throw an extractor on here. We'll have to find a good way to, to mark that we have something down here. Don't want to go too low on power. Throw a lamp on there as always. Storage hopper off to the side, and another power hopper on the other side. I don't know if it's going to fill up facing that direction or not. I'm not going to worry about it too much just yet. Let's see if we can get our sills back top side. Oh shit. Oh shit. 
This isn't. Oh no! This is how Spider Man feels. Damn it. Hypothermia is wrecking me right now. Please! I can't even see. Fuck. Just get me out of this hole. I'm gonna die and I can't even really be upset, I don't think. You died. Ah, oh, that is a shitty setup. If I could actually see anything, I probably would have survived that, but nah, eh, whatever. I don't think you lose anything when you die. From what I can see, I still have my inventory, so I'm not too worried about it. Um. Found some rocks. The smelter is inactive. Let's go ahead and pick up the two ores we have. Uh, extracting over this way. Do, 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 do. 72 tin. Forty four copper. I wonder if you get a jetpack at any point in the game, because this seems like a game where you would get a jetpack and it would be super duper fun. Maybe not though. Alright, so now that we have that taken care of, I'm going to have to figure out this draw distance thing later. I haven't really messed around with the settings at all, so... It's kind of exactly as it came. Oh shit, oh! Died from repeated impacts. Hmm. I meant to uh, grappling hook at some point during that fall, and it just didn't happen. Let's try this again. Oh hey, I see my body. Alright, feed this thing some power. Oh shit, I didn't refill on power for- Ah, oh, here we go again. Damn it. Oh, I feel like a tube! Alright, well let's actually get energy this time before we disembark. There we go. Down the hole again. Whoop! Oh shit. Don't want to give up all of our power. 28 unknown material, aka iron ore. Oh shit. This is not well lit. At all. No! Yeah, yank me up here. There we go. That wasn't as bad as it was before. Grab some energy before hypothermia sets in. Now nah, we're cooking. Before we head off, go ahead, process this unknown material, and absolutely it is iron ore. Still smelting some tin. What the hell is this? Ruined phosphorescent land. I don't know what that is or how I use it. it sounds gross. 
Anyway, that's about time for this episode. Anyway, this game is Fortress Craft Evolved. It is a lot of fun, and as you can see, it takes a little bit to get started. Uh, you know, in the past 20 minutes or so, all we really did was get our uh, our resource gathering spots set up. We haven't even really gotten into crafting yet. But if you enjoyed the game, let me know. Leave a like, comment down below. Let me see what you'd like to, or let me hear what you'd like to see. Um, I haven't really gotten much further than this so far in my previous playthroughs. I pretty much established copper, tin, iron, and then uh, I decided to start over to do a let's play on it. I didn't want to start in the middle once everything had already been established, but anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.